A quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Most of us don't think about the sun every single day. Even though this giant star influences our clothing choices and when we wake up in the morning. But most importantly, it's the key to our continued existence. But what can it tell us about the vulnerabilities of our planet, our species, and life in the solar system? Solar scientist Dr. Sabrina Savage shows us the ways that explosions from the sun's solar flares both threaten Earth and highlight our planet's protective features. When I was writing up my dissertation work, I encountered some serious writer's block. Now, granted, I had a 12, a 10, a 4, and a 1-year-old at the time, so it's probably not all that surprising that I had trouble focusing, right? But daughter number two, Elida, who was 10 at the time, wanted to help me out. And so she wrote up a list of things that she knew about the sun. She was a a little bit worried about it touching her. (laughs) Fair enough. But this was a child who has seen lots of pictures of the sun on my computer in different colors and wavelengths, and so she perhaps knew a little bit more than the average 10 or 30-year-old. And she went on to write, the sun has spots. Excellent. And the sun is a star. And this is the line that triggered me into writing again. The sun is a star, just like anyone that you see at night in your favorite constellation. It's no different. And even more than that, we're living in it, in its extended atmosphere, its wind, its weather, its tendrils. We're not just living with this beast, we're living in it, in its reach. So anything that happens at the sun can have profound consequences at Earth. And now we have finally arrived at the reason I'm really here, which is to give you nightmares about space weather. So without further ado, let us begin with solar flares. (laughs) You've probably heard of a solar flare, right? They are the highly energetic burst of light that can occur at these spots when the magnetic field gets so twisted and sheared that it pops kind of like a rubber band and then it instantly rearranges itself, kind of like magic, and it releases a ton of energy before settling back down again. And yet, flares aren't what keep you up at night. It is literally the mountain of ionized plasma that can be ejected with these flares. That is the real problem. These coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, can go roaring through interplanetary space at hundreds of miles per second. That is thousands of times faster than an F-18 jet. Now, the sun's activity cycles over about a dozen years. Right now, at the peak of the cycle, CMEs are thrown out at a rate of about several per day. Some are bigger than others, and most of them are not aimed directly at us because when they are, they can cause a bit of a mess at Earth. These pesky charged particles that are moving at tremendous speeds towards the Earth. They can disrupt GPS, fry electronics, blow transformers, interfere with satellite communications, and that's just to name a few. It's hard to pick out which one's worse. Now, as bad as all that sounds, we're only mostly helpless. There are groups or agencies across the globe that are working fairly tirelessly at trying to improve space weather predictions so that satellite industries and other industries can be prepared. As just one example, a NASA-led probe named Parker was just hurtled towards the sun this past summer. I was lucky enough to be at the launch. It was incredible. And it was sent out there to help us understand how the sun's wind connects the entire solar system, and also how the sun's temperature, the the atmosphere, is heated to temperatures that seem to defy physics. This is something that's been keeping us going for decades now. 
And on its way, on its journey, Parker will become the closest man-made object to a star ever. This is an exciting time for, for solar physics. We're in this sweet spot where technology is finally starting to catch up to our questions. And I encourage students and your kids, come join us. This is a spectacular job, right? The sun isn't just a big light bulb in the sky. It is where science fiction meets our reality. It is the best laboratory to the universe that we have, and it is just right there. It gives us a reason to look up every day and to work together for a very common cause, human survival and progress and all. And above all that, it is beautiful, and it's terrifying, and it touches us all. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Nashville, Tennessee. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Nashville. Want to listen to the full talk? Find Sabrina's talk and more at TED.com slash TEDx Shorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.